It had been 11 years of pain, agony, disappointment and sadness. Heart of Oak had come close to a Ghana Premier League title on several occasions. However, the title that was once a birthright was proven to become more elusive than ever. The 2019-2020 season was cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. News that Heart of Oak fans embraced because performances were once again below par. The Phobians lost their two strikers who represented a beacon of hope with Joseph Esso joining Dreams FC and Kofi Koji moving to Qatar. There was renewed hope at the start of the new season because in the history of the Ghana Premier League, Heart of Oak had never gone nine seasons without a league title. The 2020-2021 season was do or die for the Phobians who were desperate for triumph. The renewed hope quickly vanished into thin air during pre-season as familiar goals revisited. Heart of Oak appointed a new head coach and technical director Carlos Manuel Vaspinto, who left the club with immediate effect seven days after his announcement. The Portuguese left the shores of Ghana to his country after disagreement with the club's board of directors over who his assistant coach should be. Vaspinto was against the board of directors' decision to make Edward Ni Odum the assistant coach. Odum had been the Phobian stopgap coach since December 2019 following the sacking of Kim Grant. With two weeks left to the new season, Odum assumed the role of interim manager and was set to lead the team in their title charge. Heart of Oaks woes were compounded after a number of players tested positive for COVID-19. As a result, their first game against the Diana Stars was postponed. Heart of Oak eventually started the season a week later with a midweek game against the strong Ash Gold side. Heart of Oak kick-starting their Premier League campaign this season with this game against Obwasi Ashanti Gaudia. After that game against Adriana Stars was called off because of COVID concerns. Gave this ball to Amos who gave it away. Yeah. A bit, and Daniel Barnier did well to follow up. Some comical defending at this stage. It was a bad pass. And it's a gift to yeah. Obin Jr. It was a bad pass by the captain. But Bani wasn't giving up on it, he was chasing it. And once the Awano popped up here, Hans Kofi was lurking and he got that equalizer for Ashanti Gold. Yeah, that was a lovely goal. When you take a look at the shape of the Accra Asovo back line, all the four defenders win. But here is Larry Somaila. He skips past Amuzu and Razak. Delicate cross onto the head of Obin Jr. and that's Hans Kofi second. Yeah, and that was a lovely goal. It was the best we saw tonight. And Kofi Krumah's cross onto the head of Hans Kofi and the miners are back in business. 2-2. Yeah, credit to them. They didn't give up. Two points dropped after going ahead twice, but Odum was left frustrated after his sides missed opportunities during the game. I'm very disappointed hmm. about the result because this game is not a game of draw. We should have killed this game in the first half, even in the second half. Hmm. We created all, 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 all the chances in the game. But I think lack of... Uh, Lack of smoke or concentration disturbs us. So but I'm, 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 I'm very disappointed. The Phobians had an opportunity to make amends against Inter Allies, but once again dropped points after conceding a potential goal of the season from Richmond Lamte. Difficult for attackers to get on the end of it because the least contact with the goal is a foul. Awesome! Brilliant goal! Inter Allies have broken the deadlock. Richmond Lamte from. Yeah. That is the bullet of a shot out of nowhere, totally against the run of play. Answers to this. This is a world class finish. It's a belter. Stupendous. After failing to pick a win in their first two games, the Accra Base Club acted fast, appointing Costa Papic, a coach who held them to their last league triumph. Papic was in the stands for the game against Carella. The initial problems were once again evident as Hearts failed to convert their chances. And such delivery could save from Yawan Sam. Wins the ball at the expense of Shaibu. Gets in the box. Can he go past Kojade? Michel Sapon! And such corner. That was been Junior. Goes past the champion. Sends the cross. Patrick Razak. Oh. Up next was a tricky tie against Dreams FC. It was the first game for Costa Papic in his second spell and a good start was needed to help settle nerves. Isa, go, 
Razak goes past Isa. Patrick Razak. Abin Junior! So that's. Manaf bends it inside. Abin Junior, that's the second goal for Hatsabok. Michel Sapon has his name on the score sheet. Abin gets into the box, sends across. Patrick Razak was lurking and waiting. Afutu gets ahead and is a third goal for Hatsabok. Michel Sapon. He gets the praise and the third for Hatsabok. Three goals, three points, the perfect start to a new era. Ah, the second half is a little bit different than what I'm expecting. You know, we are struggling to organize ourselves on the way how I want. But at least we get the three points, which is very important. The things is coming right and uh, the, the players getting the confidence. They are leading 2-0 and they are start to shaking, mm. which is, they don't have uh, that winning mentality yet. House of Folk went on to pick three victories in their next five games, winning against Ken Faisal away, Bechem United and 11 Wonders at home. The victory against Bechem United was particularly impressive as House of Folk dominated putting six past the league leaders at that time. Up against the capital club as House of Oak seek to continue in the way they left the season before the break. These over green stockings and the Phobians are in their usual rainbow. The Hunters from Bechem, Bechem United. That's the second goal for Hatsabok. At this stage, they can afford all of this. They know victory is certain. It's a third goal for Hatsabok. Twenty twenty one has started on a good note for Haas as the win against Bechem moved them up to second place in the table. Bechem also losing meant there was no unbeaten team left in the Ghana Premier League. The Phobians failed to capitalize on the big victory and dropped ten points in their next five games. Winless in four games, Heart of Folk confirmed they had parted ways with Costa Papic. According to a statement by the Phobians, the separation was partly due to a run of poor performances. Accra Hearts of Oak have parted company with head coach Kostadin Papic and goalkeeper trainer Ben Owu. The coach in his resignation letter stated, My reasons are partly personal, also for the fact that I am not getting the desired and needed results and I have no hope that is going to change. The club and Kostadin Papic have both acknowledged the recent results and performances, have not met expectations and agreed on the need for new technical leadership. The club would like to thank Papage and Ben for their time at Heart of Folk and wish them success in their future endeavours. Costa Papage's exit sparked a chain effect which saw Asari Bidiakou, the assistant coach, and Ben Uwe, the goalkeeper's coach, also resign. 11th placed, no technical coaches, the season looked dire with any hopes of a 21st league title fading away. Zero chance, the media gave Heart to Folk as they found themselves in a position where they were closer to the relegation zone than the league leaders. Fans of the Continental Masters took their frustrations to the club secretariat. <laughs>
They are sitting there doing nothing. They are doing them. So, can we have France? Can we have France? Don't move. Can they should come to Accra and come and tell them, say, support us, support us. We must not. Then they should walk out. Rubbish. The club had to react and arrange a press conference to clear the air on the puppet situation. Captain Fatou Mohamed addressed the fans explaining what went wrong during the second era of the Serbian coach. The boy said, I'm behalf of the playing body and then the technical team. So what the boy said about the, the criticism is that they, some feel that they are ready to play the matches that they were not able to get the chance to play. And some feel that injury players was out of the scene. Then when they return back, they get to the team easy. So some thought that they working hard doesn't get respond back or doesn't get the award. That because if I'm 100% fit, then maybe someone has got injured for about one month or two months out of training. Then the person resume back, maybe one week or two weeks. Then the person enter into a first level, which some of us wasn't clear. Despite the struggles, the board of Heart of Oak placed their trust in youth coach Samuel Ninoy, who helped steady the sinking ship. Ninoy picked up two crucial victories against the Busan Dwarfs and Liberty Professionals to help Heart of Oak climb into the top half of the table. And punish them. Opin Junior here with Manaf. That's the goal. The phobia and them thanking the goal scorer Isaac Mensah, who lived off the bench to replace Patrick Razak. It's that build up, that ball into Manaf. Trying to go past him, he couldn't run the turn. Okipa lost his foot in there because he was wrong footed with the strike. It was a good one on the turn. Into the back of the net for Hearts of Folk. And deep, deep into stop it time. The Phobians. His mouth, yes. An exciting five goal thriller has finally come to an end with Arsabok. But Arsabok, good to be back to winning ways. Midweek action. And uh, together with Jude Achampong, we'll be walking you through what is expected to be nothing but fireworks. Let's see if he can pick that result here. Radio Vuka with a dreadful block in there. It's the goal. Well, praise. It, it was coming. Um, in fact, the moment someone you know made that change, bringing on Benjamin Efutu, House of Folk started busting up the midfield. The Phobians picked form at the right time ahead of the first super clash of the season. Over 120,000 eyeballs watched the game via star times as both sets of goalkeepers shone brightest. An absolutely compelling fixture here at the Accra Sports Stadium. It's the biggest rivalry in Ghana football. It's a fixture everybody has been looking forward to. And it doesn't come any better when these two teams are trying to find their rhythm in the wake of their own controversial circumstances within their camp. Mass resignation sitting out of work, going four games without a win. They got a stopgap coach who has steered them to two wins in a row. Kotoko exited Africa, shifted their focus in the Premier League, got their game against the Chem United reined up. So what it means to them. And we'll find out today if all the trouble that has happened with Hearts of Folk would be any up front and Fabio Gama steps in to replace problematic folk. Kotoko's very Super clash. Hearts of Oak away to Kotoko in their own territory. Sell me our blessed whistles. Game underway. Welcome. This is Star Times at the Channel 247. It's a super clash. Kotoko, Hearts of Oak. Here is Sack. Enterprising left back. He finds Fabio Gama. This is Asante Kotoko. Kwame Poku goes down in the box. Penalty. And Nuru Sule will be asking questions of the Bless. That's whistles. Kwame Poku. Poku. Nope. Goalkeeper Richard Atta grabs it. Here is Fatal Mohammed. Switches one inside. Abalora comes forward. It's a penalty. That touch. It's the Austrian leg of Razak Abelora that catches the striker. There you see the referee points to the spot. I think. He steps for it. Abelora saves. Abelora has saved the penalty. Crystal to his mouth. He's blown it. It's over. Hatsabok and Kotoko. Highly entertaining game. 
We didn't get any goals, two missed penalties, clear cut goals, scoring opportunities flopped, and in the end, it's Kotoko Nil. Hatsobog Nil in the Super Clash at the Accra Sports Stadium. Nil Nil, it's ended. The first round of the league season had come to a conclusion. What looked like a disastrous season for Hearts was shaping out to be a positive one with the Phobians just four points behind Karela United who led the table. Hearts of Oak spent the one-month break beefing up their technical and playing department. Samuel Boudou and Hamza Bain were appointed as head coach and assistant respectively. In terms of player recruitment, Hearts of Oak brought Salif Ibrahim from 11 Wonders and Caleb Amankwa who was a free agent. These four recruitments helped transform Heart of Oak in the second round with Boudou's side looking an entirely different team. Uh, Madam Wase, it's uh, a uh, opportunity na uh, member card you um, uh, actually uh, has board members and uh, essential for Mokya Mwashia Wase. Uh, I'm going to say has for you now say I am a prayer. 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 I am was simply an opportunity he couldn't miss out on. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to use this opportunity to thank the president and the board of House of Folk to let me be part of this beautiful family. Uh, I would like to say may God bless them because I was looking for this opportunity for quite long. And this is the time for me to be part of Phobia family. And I'm so, so proud of myself to be a head coach of Phobia. And what I would like to say, I'll bring out my best. I'll bring my heart out to work extra for the hustle folk. Thank you very much. In Buedu's first game, Haas looked impressive in a 4-0 victory over Wafa as they won riots with four different goal scorers on the day. From Sogakope, the West Africa Football Academy. They returned to winning ways last week when they beat league leaders Karela by three goals to one coming from a goal down. And Hatsabok also drew blank against Asante Kotoko last weekend. But what's is this slow? The trouble's nobody. Isaac Mensah now photo and Sayer so Vuka cut back beautiful goal Patrick Razak has made it 1-0 textbook yeah, Yaris, now. Victor Edu enters the box cuts in sets up Mensah as a second for the Phobians Isaac Mensah after that penalty now he's blocked by Wafa Fatal's cross in. Radio Vuka! Absolutely amazing. Magnificent strike from Radio Vuka. This is stupendous. He finds Ovuka. He's up against Summit.
the lowest by any side during that spell. During that time, Heart of Oak became the first side to win five consecutive games in the league this season, beating Ken Faisal, Bichem United, Elmina Sharks, 11 Wonders, and Brecum Chelsea. The victory away against Bichem United was their first ever, a historic moment marked by a well-taking goal by their new acquisition, Salifu Ibrahim. Yeah, they come out of the uh, dressing room, all looking hale and hearty. Bechem United in their home colours of the lemon green. Accra Hearts of Oak are sporting their usual rainbow colours. Manaf. This is good for Accra Hearts of Oak. It's Salifu Ibrahim running down the line. Sends him across with the left shot. Into the net he goes. His unfavourite right foot. And Salifu Ibrahim breaks the deadlock. Well, his first goal for Accra of Oak. What a goal. Look at him with that pace. The first touch was excellent. And the final pass, the, fi the final shot at goal. Oh, what a goal. Look at him. In full confidence and oh, with the right foot. Oh, such placement. Brilliant, brilliant goal. All over here. It has ended Hearts of Folk 1. Bechem United 0 here at the North Osuja Park. The home invisibility has been broken. Has have conquered. Bechem United 0. Hearts of Oak. One. It was Olympics who disrupted Heart of Oak's winning streak. In the first round, the Phobians were no match for their rival. Goes in with a left foot across to his brother, another second. Max Solabe makes it two for Great Olympics. If I want to know what's better, then this one is simply fantastic. What a magnificent hit that was. With the chance to stretch their lead at the top and get revenge on their rivals, Heart of Oak missed out as a late equaliser by Maxwell Abekwe ensured both sides shared the spoils. Salifu's corner, goalkeeper Ben Asari gets it away and it's a belt of a goal. Emmanuel Nete, stupendous. This is magnificent. What a bullet of a strike from Emmanuel Nete. That's him. Gets the cross in, header in, Maxo! Great Olympics, Abekwe has brought Olympics back into business. His eighth of the season. But, but you can see there's a uh, chance that they squandered. We need to improve upon it. That's the reason why we are there. So when you go back, we're going to correct the mistakes, then we improve upon it. Boedu asked for his side to be more ruthless in front of goal, and his side responded in the next game, beating fellow title rivals Mediama 2 0 at the Accra Ball Stadium. At this point, both House of Folk and Asante Kotoko were tied on points and were set to meet on March Day 31. But before that, both sides had very tricky ties with Kotoko hosting Karela United as Hearts of Folk played against Legon City. Kotoko played earlier in the day and picked a hard fought victory over a determined Karela side. It was the turn of Hearts of Folk at the Accra Sports Stadium. Three points were needed to go back level on points with Kotoko. Hearts edged it out against Legon City and had to dig deep in the end. Ball onto the part of Daniel Banye. Oh, beautiful work. Pass Mensa Banye. Brilliant. Kajabi Jr. His ninth goal of the season. The stage was set with the two biggest clubs in the country level on points and facing each other with just four more games to play in the league. There was extra incentive as whoever picked up a win got an extra edge because of the use of head-to-head -head in the Ghana Premier League. Side in the second half again, a dink from Salifu looking for Barnier. That's the opener! Daniel Abria Barnier! Daniel Abria Barnier! 
running down the channels. It's over! Akra Hasabak have taken a three point lead. And it's a glorious Akra Hasabak won. Asante Kotoko nil. The elusive league title was so close now. Heart of Oak fans could feel it. But where do you only ask for calm? No, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy at all. But we do respect all the premier all the premier clubs that we take match after match. We are finished with this match and we believe that the subsequent matches we take it one by one. Now the fans were saying that anyone who wins this game are potential winners of the Ghana Premier League. It's now in your court, right? No, no, not really, not really yet. Not yet. Not yet. We have to fight as we have to fight hard to get all the three matches. Nine points. Hearts needed two more victories from their last three games to be crowned league champions. In the end, two draws was enough because Asante Kotoko only picked up one point for their next two games. The league might have been won against Liberty, but the comeback against Abusia Drafts at Cape Coast set the tone. Hey man, had to be playing against Liberty. Fatal balling. A big junior! That's the equalizer! Kato Big Junior! Equalizes for the Phobias! Wonderful display from the Phobias! All the hard work boiled down to one game. Hearts of Folk just had to beat Liberty at home to be crowned league champions. Kotoko failed to do their part as a draw was enough to see Samuel Buedu and his team crowned champions. We will be with you between now and the next 90 minutes here at the Accra Sports Stadium for Liberty Survival. So it could be a coronation, it could be a wake, depending upon what team you support. But for Hearts of Folk, for the kind of season they've had, they wouldn't have a better chance than in front of their own fans to clinch it. It's been a long wait. Coaches have come and gone. Expatriate coaches from Europe, Asia. But over the last 10 years, none have been able to win the Premier League for the Phobians. So the players emerge out of the tunnel to a rapturous roar from the Phobian faithful here. Delivers. Oh, what a goal! Daniel Afriya Mania! What a goal! Good delivery from Salipo. It had been coming, but Heart of Oak persevered in a very difficult season and defied all odds to be crowned champions. The record of Hearts never going beyond eight seasons without a league title had been maintained, making it a season to remember. by this man, Samuel Buenu. He has ensured that as a book are champions for the first time in Ghana in the last 12 years. An incredible achievement by Samuel Obwedu. It's really a dream come true for the Phobians. They've waited long, long, long for this. So in the second round of the season, no team in the Ghana Premier League played better consistently. We're more resolute, we're more disciplined than some of Boydou's hearts of folk. And it's credit to the players. Because it's never easy when there's a change in manager. But once the manager walked through the door, all of them came to the same page. They believed in his ideas. They believed in his style. And in the end, it has led them to what will be remembered as one of the most successful seasons for hearts of folk in their recent history. Come at the hour, come at the man. Some of Boydou has delivered the league title for Akra Hatsabok for the first time since 2009.